This video demonstrates how to search, playback, archive, and export surveillance video footage that has been recorded to the hard drive of an iDVR Pro 960H CCTV DVR. Let's get started. So here's the live view of our iDVR Pro, and to access the search and playback, I'm going to hover the mouse in the lower left here and select search from the menu button. That opens up the main time search screen, and you can see there's a timeline scrubber and a calendar. I'm going to go back one day to yesterday. I set up a few extra cameras in this DVR, so I'd have 16 cameras uh, recording continuously. You notice it's color-coded what type of recording has gone on in the time scrubber, and the solid green indicates continuous. And you can zoom in and out of the timeline using these magnifying glasses. So I'm going to select this point in time, and you can see the thumbnails that come up to give you an overview. And then if I click playback, it'll open up uh, the playback screen and start playing back the video at that point in time. And you can change uh, you know, from, from four screen view to nine to 16, whatever you want to view it at. The timeline scrubber uh, is over here on the right during playback. And you can double click on the timeline scrubber to jump to different points in time. We'll go ahead and jump around a little bit just to look at some different segments of video. And now let's see, let's pretend we found a significant event or we're looking for something. I, I, I'm going to go and fast forward and, and reverse just to show you how you can really search for something very easily. And then once you've narrowed down the time frame, if you found some event that you want to preserve or and or export, you can click and drag the timeline scrubber over here to select a segment of time and then right click on the mouse and select reserve data. That basically just bookmarked and locked up that data so it won't be overwritten by the hard drive even if it gets full. And to retrieve that, I can go to the menu system and select archiving. And then on the top menu, if I go to reserved data management, that'll show all the data that's been bookmarked and reserved. This last event right here is what I just reserved a minute ago. And if I select that, I can choose to export or play back that video. Let's go ahead and pretend like we're going to export it. Um, I can export this. This is an H model IDVR Pro, so it has a DVD burner. I also have a USB thumb drive, the SanDisk Cruiser. I can also export to FTP. So I can I can tag this export and also input a memo. If I just double click on those fields, it opens up a virtual keyboard, and I can tag this particular export and also. Uh, just make some notes in the memo field. So after I'm done, if I was going to actually export this, I can burn this to the device that's selected, or I can burn it and erase, which does just that. I'm not actually going to do it, so I'll cancel out of there. You can also select uh, these events and then uh, click playback. So that'll open up the playback uh, screen again and start playing back the video at that point in time. I guess I selected part of the video that I only had 12 cameras connected. So there's the four camera playback view. And again, you could just you could select the different uh, grid view options during playback and you can play it in forward and reverse. And then when you're done, you can just click on the live view to exit the playback mode and go back to live view. The team at CCTV Camera Pros hopes that this video was useful in demonstrating how easy it is to search, view, and export recorded surveillance video footage on an iDVR Pro model security DVR. For more information and to request login information for a live demonstration of an iDVR Pro, please visit www.idvrpro.com. CCTV Camera Pros lets customers log into the demo surveillance system at our warehouse using iPhone, iPad, and Android mobile applications. Users can also log in using both Windows and Macintosh computers. Thank you for watching.